In Japan, more evidence that seems to point to a core meltdown at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Highly toxic plutonium has been discovered outside the plant. Lucy Kraft is in Tokyo this morning with more on that. Lucy, good morning. Good morning. Well, the discovery of plutonium has further complicated the struggle to stabilize the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Workers have two tough tasks right now. They have to keep those reactors from overheating while at the same time draining away that dangerously radioactive water that is pooled at the facility. Japanese officials say traces of highly toxic plutonium were found in the soil in five places at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant. Three samples are from nuclear weapons testing decades ago and are unrelated to the nuclear plant. Safety officials insist the plutonium poses no immediate threat to humans. It's hard to imagine that there would be very, very serious health consequences from it. The discovery supports suspicions that dangerous radioactive water is leaking from damaged fuel rods. Together with the fact that the water found outside is highly radioactive, I think it can be said that this is proof that the fuel rod has melted a bit and this is a very serious thing. In Japan's parliament, the prime minister faced a grilling by opposition party members for lack of leadership in the moments following the earthquake, tsunami and nuclear crisis. Liberal Democratic Party member Yosuke Isozaki said, you were the prime minister. What were you thinking when you ran out of the prime minister's office, leaving it empty? Meanwhile, this elementary school in quake-ravaged northeast Japan reopened for the first time since the tsunami. Teachers, students and their families gathered as they came to grips with losing 70 percent of their students. School principal Teruyuki Kashiwaba says, I told the children today that although many of their friends have lost their lives or are missing, everyone here should work together and do their best. Well, the talk today in Tokyo is that TEPCO, the owner of the damaged plant, may be temporarily nationalized. The company is facing tens of billions of dollars in liabilities, so the government may take a majority stake. Uh, it should be noted that Chief Cabinet Secretary Yuki Odano, however, did deny those reports. Jeff? All right, Lucy Kraft. Thank you, Lucy.